Hey, 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 welcome, welcome back. All right, guys, so I do have my fan on in the back, all right? Um, I've told you guys time and time again, fat people, well, at least myself, I get hot. So therefore, sometimes you will hear the fan in the background. Um, but I feel that I speak loud enough for you guys to know exactly what I'm saying. All right. If not, go ahead and comment down below if the fan is actually bothering you. All right. So we can ready to do is a lot of my subscribers have been coming to me asking me to do a um, reaction video to Liv's last, I think it's Fashion Nova haul. So yeah, let's get started. Um, I'm looking at it now and I also will be putting the outfits somewhere in this video, okay? So let's go ahead and hit play. Basically right now what she is saying that Fashion Nova has been very patient and um, they have literally waited for her to actually do the video. That is what I am getting from this right here. And what she is wearing is from the line of um, their curve um, section. Right off the bat, Liv is reviewing their um, bandeau top or whatever. And I can tell y'all right now, um, I'm already blown. Okay. For one, wait a minute, I'm going to keep going. Yeah, it definitely got to be well made for your um, breasts because you got some serious watermelons. You better not roll them damn sleeves up. You better not do it. I'm glad you like it. We can tell that you just threw this shit on. All right, and you know what blows me about Liv or whatever? First, I couldn't put my hand on who she actually tries to be like, all right? And then finally, after watching her for so long and actually telling y'all, and then you were like, yes, she does, because y'all didn't even know who the other person was. All right, she reminds me of Passion Jones. I mean, she tries to wear, you know, her hair like her. I mean, she tries to be a mini me. All right. She was even, she even had confrontation with Passion Jones because Passion Jones decided to, you know, take up some stuff and actually get um, her weight under control. So she got the surgery. Liv then got mad at her because of the simple fact that she was no longer a plus size. But y'all already know Liv is real, 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 real petty. All right. Um, but what blows me about Liv right now, she tr every, when she says certain words, she tries to sound like the comedian. I think her name is Simone 
B or, or I know her name is Simone, okay? And Liv always try to sound like her. Liv, if you could see this video right now, could you please be yourself and stop trying to sound like somebody else? The shit is fucking ridiculous. The shit needs to come to an end. The shit actually blows me. So I know if it blows me, it definitely blows your subscribers as well as mine. All right. Baby girl. 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 Baby they have sent Liv that she has picked out a Bantu with a dragon on it. Now, I'm going to come right off and tell you, y'all already know how I am. That dragon, soon as I seen the dragon on front of a Bantu, blew the shit out of me. I didn't want no more parts of it. What actually blows it even more is the fact that Liv gets to pick out her clothes. What I want to know, Liv, is why did you? Pick out a band too. When you look like you are about seven to eight months pregnant. Why? I'm not trying to get on you about your weight because I'm a big girl myself. But what you need to understand, Liv, and, and I mean, even when Passion Jones was a big girl, she had a way of dressing that made you not even care that she was a big girl. You live, have a way of dressing, whereas though we don't even want you to come on camera with no, no type of outfit that you have picked out for yourself. I am going to tell you right away, Liv, you need a personal stylist, all right? Really, what you need to do is you need to get your clothes from Nordstrom's, all right? And they will give you a stylist to style you. Because live the way and the what clothes you buy, I'm not going to be, you know what I mean? I'm not going to lie. I'm going to be honest with you. And if I was your friend, I would send you back in the house. 98, I'm sorry, 99% of the time to go back and find you a size appropriate outfit. Which would be very hard for you. I can already tell you, you will just, if I send you back in the house. It'll just be like this. Phone ring. Hello. Yeah, you might as well go ahead and read because I can't find nothing that actually looks decent on me to actually go out with you. That's what would happen. Yeah. So what she did was she had this dragon shirt. I mean, Bantu. She had another black shirt. Whereas though, the Bantu is always show, already showing her stomach. She is like, no, I'm definitely going to show my stomach. Y'all are not getting out of this. Y'all are going to see it, so stick with it. So she decides to put a black long sleeve shirt over it and tie it up her stomach. I'm not going to keep getting on you, Liv, but damn, you understand that shit looks fucking ridiculous. Another thing, Liv, what you need to realize is that Gerard, like you said, has moved on, so he is with a new boo. All right, so that means Liv, you have to come across correctly because right now, if his new boo is looking at you in this haul that you are doing, she is saying to herself, I'm definitely winning. I can come outside with a whole 3X sweatsuit on that covers my face and I still will be winning. All right, so she has also found a pair of black jeans, I guess that they sent her. The jeans are okay, but she needs to wear some top appropriate tops, all right? The bandu is not it. Please don't order that because you ordered that for yourself. I know myself, Liv, that you are underneath a lot of stress. But this stress right here with the bantus, don't order no more bantus. You got that? This is a cute outfit. Also, you can wear it's not cute at all. And definitely on you, I'm sorry, it's not cute. Sorry. 
Yeah, we do know you, that you can't dress. All right, right off the bat right now in the second outfit, she kept on the jeans, which is okay. You get what I'm saying. But she ordered a t-shirt. I think she said the name is Angelica, a cartoon character. And um, I have no idea why Liv decided to order this. Now, this is what I am going to say. When it comes to dressing, the first person might may well don't look in it good at all. But the second person, they may have a way about dressing so it looks cute on them. I am one of those type of people. I can put on anything and make it look presentable where you would be like, are you serious? You really decide to wear that out the house. That shirt, the colors, your face, everything looks amazing. And I'm not trying to brag on myself or anything like that, but I am used to tell, people telling me that. Like my girlfriends would say, I can't wear that, but you can wear anything. So yeah, this shirt right here, um, I will say that if Liv, let me mute it. I will say that if Liv was going to wear this shirt, she needed to customize this t-shirt for herself. Like as in it's a regular t-shirt, she need to go ahead and trim the neck off. She need to make the shirt where it hangs off of her shoulder. She needed to do some things with this shirt. She really did. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right. So the next outfit, we are definitely going to go ahead and speed past that and hope that we don't get a camera ticket. All right. So the next outfit she has is a tie-dye dress, a fitted dress. All right. And it has a split on the side. The dress looks like it is a color gray and purple or whatever. The dress for Olivia is not a go. It's not a go, Olivia. Like I'm telling you again, when you decide to get on here and put these type of, you know what I'm saying, dresses on, you are fucking it up for me because I'm a big girl. Like, you are fucking it up. The first thing that you should have done is because you are representing this company, you needed to put you on some shapewear. I don't understand why you don't put on shapewear because what happens is your stomach, everything is all in one. Like somebody said and left in my comments, and I'm sorry to say it, but they said... You look like a Mr. Potato Head. I'm starting to understand why they said that. All right. So, yeah, this dress would have been cute if you would have had some shapewear on. Some serious shapewear. And it seems like you get a lot in them, like you've got a lot over the time. Like, I guess over a month. Because I think you did a review on the other, the Kardashian ones or whatever. I think you did a review on them. So therefore, with that being said, you should have a whole damn U-Haul trailer. I'm not even going to say, well, you need to get shapewear. Because you damn sure know that you got shapewear in your house. And one of those plastic bags that, you know what I mean? Matter of fact, you did a video on where you remember when you went to the... Um, Answer the door and they had a package for you and you had shapewear on them. Yeah, you could have rewinded it right on back and, you know, got one of those out and did the thing. But this right here, Olivia, I'm sorry, it ain't you. Now let's wait and see what the next outfit is. Yeah, she wrote, she's still talking about this tie-dye dress and she's trying to do a little twerk in front of her um, fireplace and the dress look har looks horrible. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead and go to the next outfit. Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Here we go again. Liv is so nervous and so stupid in this video. It ain't even funny. All right. I don't understand why Liv keep ordering these fucked up clothes for herself that she gets on here and does a review. And we are looking at the screen like this. Bitch, you better not even go to the bathroom with that on. At all. She now decided to go ahead and put on some bike shorts or whatever, like bikey shorts. But these shorts, you can actually see through them. It looks like she doesn't even have a thong on, no underwear or whatever. It looks like trash on her. All right. Next, she has on like a top that comes a little bit over her stomach. And it's the same thing as the band too. Liv, stop making yourself look so crazy. I don't care about how much. You get what I'm saying? Like you say you care about yourself. Like how much you feel like you that bitch and you are big. All right. 
And I understand you're going to feel like you are that bitch. But this bitch right here with this outfit on, it's, it's a no-go. It is definitely a no-go. Let's speed on to, on to the next one because I don't even want to. Hold the fuck up. Liv has now came back onto the camera with a whole lingerie outfit. The one that snaps between the legs. Yes, that one. I'm not even going to say anything. But what I am going to say, Liv, is you should just go ahead and kill yourself in that one. That's all I'm going to say. And we're going to keep moving. The outfit even came with a robe. With a robe. And Liv is trying to pull the robe, robe around her chest part and on the other side. It is not working out for her at all. It looks on her like it is a vest. Whereas though you can't pull it, you can't do anything. I think that you know what? I've had enough of this actual particular haul. What I am going to say to you again, Liv, is honey, please, baby, you are not with Gerard anymore. So a lot of the things that you know you you let slip, Gerard was with you for so long. So it was like, I don't even give a fuck. I've been with this bitch forever. I done seen her and sold my shit. I done even seen her completely naked. So I'm good. Now the next guy, such as the boy Maurice, such as the one on you say that's locked up because you have been on a jail tour. They are going to look at you one time like this when you come out the house. Or when they practically are in your house. Liz, um, I'll be back, sweetheart. I'm going to go ahead and run over the Taco Bell and give me something good and I'm going to come back. And then you're going to be sitting there waiting like, yeah, girl, I know I look cheap. I know I'm the shit. You know, fixing your clothes and everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah, when he get here, it's going to be on. And then you wake up the next morning realizing that he never even came back. And you are sleeping in the lingerie as well as the robe. And probably the shoes, earrings, lipstick, everything. And he hasn't came back. So with that being said, Liv, I'm going to go ahead and get off of here. And I'll see you guys in the next video.